Come on now. Boom! Look how that did like no damage. There you go. Peace out. Man, I'm glad I'm having this much trouble with just these dudes. The shitstorm that's about to hit us is going to be very difficult. Woo! Oh, he's hiding over here. You, you stuck your head out, man! Grab the sword. How am I not supposed to shoot you out. in the face? Hold on, I want to make sure all of my weapons are reloaded. Especially this bad boy. Not that I'm going to need to use them. Because I'm going to be using this sucker! Alright, this Careful. is basically the entire reason I wanted to show you this mission because of this awesomeness. Oh no! Ah! So far, this is really the only mission that kind of has this, like, event type thing, if you will. It's, it's different, and I like it. Because it's not, run around, shoot guy in the face. Run around, shoot that other guy in the face. Run around, shoot this dude in the face. Now let's run around, stab this dude in the face. Run around, smash this guy into oblivion. Lots of movement all around us. The princes are coming for the sword. Ooh. Hey yeah! All right, run away, run away from that guy. He does not like you. He's trying to murder you. And bye bye. I got a black wax idol for doing all that. The sword is awesome. Gone. They say that was one of the most powerful weapons the hive ever wielded against us. The crypt. Well, I mean, it wasn't like super this. powerful. I mean, it took like five hits for it to kill some some of those dudes. So, not super powerful. This is kind of weird too. Like a countdown for the end of the mission. It's. I guess it's a good way to transition, but... Being as OCD as I am with collecting loot and whatnot, it always makes me like, Oh my god, I gotta pick up everything! I gotta pick up everything before... before the time runs out. Nine times out of ten, there isn't even anything on the map. It's just I'm paranoid that I'm not getting something. Looks like we got some sweet loots here. 
I'm going to go back to the tower real quick and show you the social networking aspect of this game, Destiny. Let's do some, uh, oh dang, of course. <laughs> I can't, they always do that. They give you some really awesome loot and you can't use it until you level way up. Alright, so the defense is better on that, but it doesn't give me any discipline, which discipline decreases cool time, cool town time of your grenades. This is all better stuff, but I think I'm just going to destroy it. Eh. Especially these uh, gauntlets, because I'm just going to wait for this one to unlock when I hit 16. That one too. This one looks like a better shotgun though. Way better shotgun. I'm going to equip that. Get rid of this. That looks like a sniper. I have to get that decrypted over at the, uh... Okay, so it's basically the same thing. Except for a little, little stat differences, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Alright, let's go to the tower. Ta-da! Earth! Alright, so here's the tower. Bunch of different vendors and whatnot. You buy guns from, get your mail. That's right, space mail. Space mail, people. So you basically get these little dudes here, and then you gotta get it decrypted by this dude. Oh, let's see if it's a, even anything cool. That's a fusion rifle, which is basically like a laser shotgun. Which looks like it's way better than my fusion rifle that I have right now, so let's get rid of this one. Getting some cool loots. This is the bounty tracker. Basically pick up bounties and you get uh, Vanguard or Crucible reputation uh, based on what the the bounty is like kill so many dudes without dying and kill a hundred enemies. Goodbye, Guardian. That gives you access to different super awesome stuff when you uh, reach level 20 but you gotta reach level 20 first Message for Zer. Alert Zer. all right so that was our first new geek protocol gaming video um, hope you like the crap out of it Um, yeah. Oh tick, tick, tick. Uh, go to our website, www.newgeekprotocol.com. Uh, this video will definitely be up there. So, see you around, y'all.